The only way to really get to know your muse is to go to their collection of photos and take time to study what else they've posted there, the different angles, the different context in which they have their images, and to study it for a bit and try to just go a little deeper than just what you see in one image. And then you may understand the person that you're focusing on a little better. I do take time. I do look at the muse for a while. I do try to also look at any artwork that they may have posted, just to get a little bit of a feeling of who they are as a person. And I think it's th that in-depth searching into the muse that helps give energy to your drawing. We don't want to overdo the lines in this particular uh, muse because more lines will age this person. So we're going to have to be a bit cautious, but right now, when I'm at this stage, I really want my lines to um, really be playful and I want to just bring it out so the drawing gets a little bit stronger. So I'm going to probably darken in this, not too much, the uh, pupil and this here. And again, just making sure the lines are following your shapes and being very intuitive about what it, it is trying to define. I might hatch a little bit like this just to give it a little darkness there. Um, a little more work on the eyebrow. Eyebrows have a lot of character. Again, I want to be very cautious about not overdoing it on this very young person. Okay, now I get to do the eyelashes as well. darken some areas. A little hatching. Okay, so I'm just going to move up into the hair where we do have a lot of motion and I, here's where I want to um, get some feeling back in. I'm not sure how much color I'm going to add, so these lines are really important to me. There's a lot of movement going on in this hair, so I'm trying to follow how it's going, but I'm trying to be a little more responsive than accurate. Because really, the most important part of this is its free-flowingness and, and not so much the exact curls.
Okay, I'm not going to go any more into the features because I feel, just a little bit here maybe, I feel that they need to really be a bit gentle. Okay, I will leave. Okay, that has brought the light, the, um, sorry, the drawing um, into a little more exciting representation of what's going on. Okay, I'm going to quit here. Anyway, hopefully you guys can enjoy your lines. You know, take some time to get to know your model and let your feelings come through your tool. Enjoy today.